for a stabbing on the cultural trail last week may also be responsible for other attacks in downtown Indianapolis. 37-year-old Victor Johnson is facing multiple charges, including attempted kidnapping and aggravated battery. CBS 4's Brett Cast joins us live now to tell us about the additional attacks that have just come to light. Brett. Yeah, Debbie, just minutes before that victim was stabbed down the cultural trail last Thursday in broad daylight, three other women say they too were attacked by the same man just a few blocks away here near the Indiana War Memorial. As a mother and a daughter sat by this fountain last Thursday around 1.45 in the afternoon, they told police a man came up to them, asking them for hugs and to, quote, hook up with him. He then showed a steak knife wrapped in a towel, saying he had already stabbed three people and didn't want to go back to jail. As the two started walking away to call 911, they passed another woman resting on a blanket on the ground. They say the man following them then attacked that woman, punching and kicking her, calling them all derogatory names, and then turning back to the daughter to attack her before running off. About five minutes later, the stabbing was reported on the cultural trail. And we heard her scream, so we look up and we see what's happening. Jeff starts running towards him and that's when he began to flee. Jeff Jackson and other witnesses chased after the suspect, detaining him until police arrived. He then went back to help the female jogger who was stabbed in the neck. And then when I got back to the scene is when I, I seen everything and it was just like, wow. I mean, I couldn't believe it. There was a lot of blood, uh, a lot of blood. The man the witnesses chased after was identified as 37-year-old Victor Johnson. All three women were shown a picture and confirmed he was the same person who attacked them. I thought, I thought he was going to kill me. Yesterday, we also reported about another woman who claimed she was attacked by the same man the day before the stabbing. She told us she was near the corner of Alabama and New York last Wednesday when a man came up to her with a knife asking for a hug. She was able to fight him off before her screams alerted people nearby. But I couldn't close the door. He kept it open and he tried to stab me. So I was, uh, I lay down in the car and I was kicking him, you know, from the inside of my car. So I started kicking and I guess screaming. She says it took 30 minutes for police to arrive. And she told me a detective was supposed to follow up with her, but never did. Police had the pictures of the guy and uh, they should have looked for him. I don't think they looked for him. IMPD has not yet confirmed whether they are investigating Johnson for this attack as well, but the woman is convinced it's the same guy. I'm not the only one that uh, experienced that, and I'm pretty upset because they, the police didn't really try to get him. Now, Johnson is still in Marion County Jail tonight. We did look back at some court records and saw that he has been arrested multiple times within the past year, including for a battery case back in October that included two female students at Marion University. He was put on probation in that case and was actually due back in court earlier this month for violating that probation. But that court date was postponed due to COVID-19. Reporting here downtown, I'm Brett Cast, CBS4 News. It's a story we'll be following. Brett, thank you.